once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, so they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Of 
course. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. Man, my brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. Whoa, hold on. Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man! You started it, dickhead! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! Dad, I told him not to come so into my room. And, he never listens. He hit me and broke the trophy. He's lying. He always does that when he gets busted. Little shit. Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap, okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up, you need space, more freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I always look out for him, but I can't stop him from creeping around my room. Even you told him. He's just... spoiled. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him. Like you are now. <laughs> Says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Be nice and don't break anything else. 
man. Dad would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Can I come in? It's the big bad brother. kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. <sighs> Leave me alone! Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Pam, haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Why are you still here? Hey. That's cool. Did you make it? Be careful! Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay if I sit down? <sighs> so... When did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself, since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever.
Man, Beaver Creek feels so far away. <sighs> hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. Hmm. Hey, Bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, hi, uh. Yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. Ah, no more fog. Sweet. <laughs> that girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Jeez. She's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. Never seen a dog so chilled. Doesn't care about anything. Yeah. Like you don't get pet enough around here. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. I don't know what's inside. It's like that movie. The sun has saved Must us. Must have time, Sean. coffee. Man, grab some and sit your ass Most down. Most of them are into fancy hippie food. And fast food junk. Weird we didn't see any bears, with all that trash lying around. Yeah, crushing hard today. <laughs> yeah, aren't there smoke too much again? Shoot, I'll what's the date today? Big Joe gets Is it the 15th or Good. 16th? I want you to start the day with that asshole yelling. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw. That's cute. Where is she? Oh, uh, she's with my parents, of course. So I, where else would a nine-year-old live? Oh, shoot, I mean, I didn't mean Daniel. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. That's my job now. Full-time Daniel Wrangler. He's really lucky to have you. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? How about some hearts and unicorns around her name? 
Hmm. She might think it's too cheesy. Not if you mean it. I'm sure she's crazy for her big brother. I don't know. I'm afraid Sarah's a bit mad at me for leaving her. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. <sighs> My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen later tonight. These guys have top gear. Wish I did. Gotta get my coffee on before I go anywhere. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Cush get. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington, and it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere. Soon, anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom! I don't know. Things have to change. Oh, um... Did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I... better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. I keep thinking you're Dutch. <laughs> because we... Uh... I think you forgot something, Sean. You gonna make some more coffee, right? Where from again? Sweden. Malmö. You wouldn't hear about it. We're so lucky these guys took us in. <laughs> A long fucking way to work a farm. Yeah. Been working for three years in a coffee shop to pay for the trip. Hope that shit was worth it. Oh yeah. Good times. Better check on Daniel. I wish you came sooner. I feel like we will never see everything now. You did. You gotta ride with us, right? You saw the real shit. True. <sighs> I will miss you too, Penny. We shower like 
once or twice a week. Gives us more time to chill, right? Living large and humbled. So many missing persons around here. Creepy. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold, but fucking awesome. Yeah, remember, look straight. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. Holy shit! That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Finn trained you well. Six bull size dude? Yeah, I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean. Idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on. Let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Sean, hold your right arm, yeah. more like this. Better alignment, better aim. Won't really help. Dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Come on, sweetie, one more time. I know you can do it. Be zen, Sean. That's the secret. <laughs> oh, fuck that! <laughs> Missed. See? I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Whew. After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet! Ah, uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> big brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. He won't tell anybody. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that. I'm not a kid anymore. Daniel, don't. Why? Stop, Daniel. Now. Or what? I said stop, Daniel. Don't run uh, me! Uh. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Y yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Los. Remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom, since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair, but you're my brother. And my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know, but I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Big Joe. Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. Nah, I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Daniel, remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, Inano. Okay, okay. Wish we could... send Chris a present. Or something. Or... maybe just check on him. We will, Daniel. When we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide and seek last night. Especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to give me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh. Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late.
Hey, little man. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, knife. just right. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Really? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not off. listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting that. Are you? Yeah. What? Hey, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Oh, too oh, much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was Two fees in a pod, that. these ones. I'll show you the battle scope. Oh, it was so high time. last night. Hey, Sean Dallas. Cool. Nah. I love Just you, keeping you an eye out. Be careful with that, you know? though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big brother watching. Hey, who's the next That's master cute. here? I'm Des. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shooting in that evening? So. Wrong. How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up yeah, here? <laughs> with us misfits. I actually feel free. It's been a long time, thanks to you. I hope so. Finn and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. Don't hurt me. I lost. I'm, just, I'm glad you did. I can't get rid of me yet. Hey, I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? I told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Bigfoot. Think about it. Big Joe. Bigfoot. Whoa. <laughs> you might be on to something. They both smell. Stinky? Big Joe. <laughs> Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, come on. It's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Hey, you're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. <laughs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, 
Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know, we really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, no ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him then. How old is he anyway? Oh, uh, nine. He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on him. Not my business, but... You got kids? Yeah, a daughter. Twelve years old. Do you... do you get to see her? Not often, but she needs the money I get out here. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Eh, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. What? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Shit. 
I hate these scissors. <laughs> Going too fast. Take your time, dude. Man, hey! <laughs> Careful, Sean. Okay, sweetie. Look, Daniel, you just zoned out. We all do it. Then we don't. I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. <sighs> mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay, just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kinda cool. Yeah, I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Exactly. We don't have any homework. Or teachers. Sure. Just Marilyn Big Joe. Whatever. Ugh! Quiet! Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow okay. that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. <laughs> but worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> But for real, okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, we get it. Over and over. Hey, come on. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. Calm down. <sighs> I'd love to visit New Orleans. Yep. Check out the voodoo shops and the blues band. <laughs> that would be cool. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. This is Joe, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa, down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please, I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh, don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts, wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. <sighs> We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we gonna squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop! You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. Shit. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. 
Friday, how are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, or off the bus. Hey, everybody chill. Let's not get- Sean, step back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. <laughs> Part of the fun. Ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Cass and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job. Cash. Friends. Safety. John, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> yeah. My brothers are like that. Maybe. But he doesn't listen to me anymore. Hey, don't worry. You're in a, a new group. He's trying to fit in on his own. Bet you're doing it too. Mm-hmm. Trying to be your own person. Not just Daniel's big brother. Sure. But... I try to be both, you know? You're a good guy, Sean Diaz. You just need to trust yourself more. I, I know. Losing your family is tough. But the world is yours to create a new one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was pretty sheltered growing up. But now I'm starting to totally love seeing the world. 
Well, you know, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. Not to Daniel. He doesn't even want to go. At all. Instead, he wants to go to Arizona to see his... mom. Fuck that. It can be tough, growing up, not knowing your folks. He needs closure. That's all. Give him time. He'll follow you anywhere. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because of hell. Hey. No money. Nobody. Hola. Hitched north. Worked on farms. Hey, esta señor. Bien, y tú? Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh... Uh... comprendo. <laughs> Don't uh, laugh. That fuck. Still that learning, Humboldt, Professor. <laughs> sweet deal with Merrill. At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. <laughs> She's so natural. I wish I could be more like that. Socializing is... Hard. Together sometimes. No home. Get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much traffic. <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. Done. I wasn't very focused on the trim today. How's the dish master? Great. So much fun. How about taking a break to help your big bro move some water barrels? Yes, but you gotta help me first. I'm on it. Step aside. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing That's it. Finally. Don't wait for you near the water tank so we can take on those barrels. Let's carry that one to the shower. Gotta put that one near the shower. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Taurus talking shit again, like you guys have it so hard. Man, I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. Mm. 
Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. I'm done with these potatoes. But thanks for nothing. Sorry, Hannah. Whatever. You're just like those Swedish tourists. Like those kids who come through here all psyched. And they have to bust ass and they're gone. I know I have a lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much. Ten years or so. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. I know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Last thing I want is to interfere with your group. I'm not saying you can never fit. Just letting you know how it is. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first, always. That's good. Shows you're not a selfish prick. That way too many. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? Same old story. Fucked up family dysfunction. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me too. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, how did you hook up with the others? The usual way. Just bumming around. Hooked up with Finn first, then Cassidy, then Pennywise. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Time to take the pen, dude. I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Hmm. Pretty good. 
But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay, got it. Bo! <laughs> Man, you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> Let me be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Wow. <laughs> I look happy. Like, I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? Practice. I just keep trying to get better. I would draw no matter what. That's what keeps me going. <laughs> Yeah, same here, with my music. This place is great for inspiration. These redwoods, the fog, the ocean. Smells like hope and freedom. Except for the working part, I guess. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends? Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. Huh. That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but... I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't wet. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated. Dated that, well, you know, my mom didn't say squat as usual. Thanks, mom. So. Fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn. I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> ah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> Everything. Because I didn't appreciate shit when I had it. Like, just waking up at night to get a bowl of fucking squeaky next cocoa. <laughs> oh my god. I used to eat those too. You always think it's gonna be there. Stupid stuff like that. But things change. Right? Yep. So keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> Daniel's waiting for me. I should go meet him. Okay. Time to help Daniel do some power training. He's waiting at the lake.
Damn. Trimming is hard. <laughs> Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Well, you never bothered to teach me, so... I found my own technique. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Let's start with our team how. T.S. Lobos. Ow, 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 ow. We still sound okay. Now, let's do this. Come on. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. Damn, you know what you're- Hey! <laughs> Your face! Come on, I wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun. Pick a rock, any rock. Okay, and... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? Come on. Find something else. Bet it's different here in the summer. Penny said it gets crazy crowded. Ew. These need a little harvest. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. Waiting, or maybe you... What the? <laughs> Hell you got? What? Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, uh, that's amazing. 
That was some next level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No way. Why would I? Not even Finn? No. Jeez, you don't even trust me. Whatever. You better chill the fuck out, Daniel. I mean it. Why are you making a drama out of everything I say? Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. You can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together, right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! Serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat bowl. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't have had a long death to leg ducks. I took both roads everywhere. Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm serious, man. Look. They're finally coming to take you back. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. I love your voice. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> Hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Daniel, no fucking way. Jeez, huh. I was just joking. Ha ha, 
You better be. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go sleep night. tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's Black Flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and Black Flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops were right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. It sucks, Hannah. We lost a dog, too. Little Mushroom. It's hard, but shit. That's life. So you gotta walk on. Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, Hans. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. <laughs> you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Bust out the violins. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend. Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust in no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoomed. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yup. Oh. He must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me, and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for, even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son, maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff.
You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else... Uh... Yeah. I've got a whole bag of these. Don't worry. We're all listening, man. Well, this is after me and Daniel took off from Seattle last year. We ended up at this redneck gas station in the middle of nowhere. But our pictures were on, like, every local newspaper. Fucking gutter press. So the owner shows up and knocks my ass out. He tied me up and called the cops. I hope you beat his racist ass to a pulp. Actually, Daniel did all the work. He got us out before the cops arrived. Oh, oh. that's my champ. Damn vigilantes. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this, a kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. we just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way, and then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Yep. Yeah, I'm ready to crash, too. Let's go. What? No. You're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep, and then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, night. Sweet night. Dreams, See you in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey, can we talk about what happened on the lake? 
Yeah. That was pretty wild when you lifted that tree. I didn't know you could do such things. Since when did you... I didn't know either. I was just upset. It was the first time. Yeah. No shit. Just... Don't be so pissed off all the time, Inanna. I try. I swear. Then... I think about what happened to us. I just want to rage. I just... Wish I could have a normal life again. And stop being so angry all the time. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just... Don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it, but it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah, you're too big for it. I am, but I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just don't tell the others, okay? Promise. All right. Get comfy. Where were we? Oh. Yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the Wolf Brothers from each other. Ever.
Okay. This is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. <sighs> okay, that's silly. But... I really do need another pair of socks. I wash mine overnight, but they're not always dry the next morning. <laughs> He's got cold feet. <laughs> so that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah, like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes and don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. I swear. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. You should be pulling more for your weight. You know what I mean? Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, 
Just teach him a lesson. Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What the... Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's it. Believe it or not, told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn. I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here. In case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man. So, Sean. Maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Yeah. Dealing with Daniel. Shut up! You're lucky you're my brother. Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself. Seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. You can trust us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. That's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him, too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. 
They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but what if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. I'm not scared of cops. I could stop them anytime I want. Jeez, Daniel. It's not... At least this will all be behind us once we reach Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So, what are you going to do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm going to do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, <laughs> I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. Took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy or new bros. Yeah, stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you're starting all over. And now, you just got to take the next step to build a something... For you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. <laughs> no, it's not. You just gotta trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but... We'll see. Hey, it's bullshit. After all this, you deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted. Like, every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style. With a, a nest egg. Now you don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. 
I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. I can't, Finn. No way. Too dangerous for Daniel. <laughs> nah. See, Daniel is the dangerous one. Nobody can even touch him. You know it. I said no. I bet you're pissed at us because he didn't get paid. I would be too. I'm so sorry, but... Okay. Okay. No stress, man. I respect your decision. Just wanted to help you. And Daniel. Much love to you guys. Yeah. Sucks you have to go tomorrow. Makes me sad. <laughs> Gonna miss you, Sean. Truly. Thanks, Finn. Same here. I'm glad you and Daniel have each other. You two are... special. You got powers. Don't take shit from anybody. Ever again. Go on. Get back to your party. I'm stoned. Gonna... zen out. Damn, Finn. You need to land, man. I'd rather work my ass off for months than to shit. Are we really getting kicked out of this place? We don't have enough money to go down to Mexico. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Hey. Why so sad, little man? Uh, I miss... Bye. I miss my play bots. What are play bots? Like robot stuff? Play bots. Not play bots. It's for video games. Ah. That's why I don't know it. Sorry. I just. It's hard for me to say hey. some words. You, know, you got nothing to be sorry. You guys about. will be okay. That's who hey. you are. Everything okay? Diaz, my favorite straight A student. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting. Or... Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. And Finn likes to get his lead on. Um, why don't you come with us? Is that... Are you serious? Yeah. Why not? That's so sweet, Sean. But I'm not cut out for that life. I can't stay in the same place. I need to move. See places. Live. And the last thing Daniel wants is me bumming around with you two. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Sounds cool, but tomorrow I'll totally regret it. What? Are you doubting my drawing skills? <laughs> no way. I'm just not into the needle action. Oh, it doesn't hurt, you big baby. So not that much. Come on! Nah. I'm not. 
feeling it, really. I mean, this is for life and all. I can't do it on a whim, you know? It's okay. I'll just need to find another victim for the night. You think Daniel would enjoy a tramp stamp? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, I get that you don't want a tattoo. To each his own. I like your clean city boy look. Don't lose it, Sean. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean it, dumbass. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. Sorry, Cass. I'm not ready. Too unstable right now. Am I too much of a wuss? Eh, whatever. Jeez. Cassidy's crazy. So don't make her wait at the lake, dude. this it's freezing <laughs> it's all in your head just don't think about it <laughs> uh, sure don't think <sighs> okay here I come I think <laughs> yeah yeah get over it hurry up there you go bring it home <laughs> hey you got to take it all off no cheating Shit, shit, shit. My, my balls. <sighs> Cassidy, do not even. <clears throat> you are so adorable. Yeah, I know. Not bad, Diaz. Didn't think you'd actually do it. <laughs> my body just had to get used to it. Not that cold. That's because I had to pee. Ha, ha, ha! So, what are you gonna do about Finn and, you know, his plan? It's a really stupid idea. Way too dangerous, especially for Danny. I know, Finn acts like this is no big deal, but this feels bad. Plus, I don't want you guys to get in any more trouble. Yeah, tell that to Daniel. He's gonna be pissed. He's your brother. He'll listen to you. Finn wants to take care of us, but... But he doesn't always see other people. It's all about him. I know, but I feel bad for ruining his dream. He'll rage for a while, for sure. Then he'll be cool. He likes you. What do you mean? Come on, heartbreaker. <laughs> You know everybody likes you. I plead guilty. Yeah. I like you too. Oh, Sean. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm flattered. Or do you bust out this line whenever you go skinny dipping? First time. Swear. Are you sure? I'm not that much of a player, as you can tell. Hmm, I don't know. 
We're both already naked. Hey, that's your fault. Not that I mind. So, do you want to kiss me? Yes, I do. If that's cool. Yes, it is. See? Now, let's get out of here. <laughs> Damn, Sean. You really are cold. Shut up. Stop looking. Hold on a sec. Okay. <laughs> it's been worse. Sean? Hello? You want me to come inside? If you want to, yeah. Did you know when you kissed me in the lake? Yeah. I mean, it was a cool moment. Jay, I'm so glad I was there for you. Cassidy, I, I didn't... Are you pissed? <laughs> no, Sean. I think I'll survive. Hey. What's happening? Uh, should I come back? Uh, no. No. Everything's cool. Did you see Finn? He was with Daniel, but now I can't find him. Well, you didn't see anybody out there, but... We better go now. Figures Daniel is with him. Just tell Finn I want to talk. Thanks much. Later. Sean, hold up. Wait a sec. Why? We have to stop them. Let's figure out a plan first. We don't have time for that shit. Well, we have to get to Merrill's before then. You're right. Maybe we can borrow one of Big Joe's trucks. This is so messed up. I told Daniel. Fucking Finn. Hey, get mad later. We got shit to do now. If something happens, fuck me. It's okay. We're gonna get them. Bring them back. Thanks for coming with me, Cassidy. Don't thank me. I'm gonna kill Finn myself. Believe it. We were gone, what? 10 minutes? 20? Shh, don't holler. We don't want Big Joe to see us. Gate's wide open, so let's mosey on in. Fast. Somebody build a lock. <sighs> of course. We probably gotta jack a car. One truck is missing. See? Those tracks are headed out. Fuck. At least they didn't wake Big Joe up. But if we do, he'll kill us, Sean. So let's not advertise. No lights, no noise. I'll check the car, you do the truck.
figures. Check the other door now. Maybe the car then? Cass, check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. And I think I can get that truck started. You shitting me? My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck, just in case. Hot damn, Sean. I fucking love it. Plus, we could, uh, mess with all the other cars so Big Joe can't follow us. Love the way you think. We can find some things here to bust shit up. But we can't make a sound. Sean, I checked the car. All doors locked. Of course. Keep looking around. We need to find a way to open that trunk. Guess we won't be working here anymore. Oh, yeah. Maybe this fits in one of the cars. That is so fucking stupid. Hmm. Nice. There she blows. Damn, that was fun. Not gonna follow us now, motherfucker.
just gotta get in that truck and start her up. Here goes. One, two. Shit! He's fucking coming! Let's go! Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. What the hell? He'll be on us in any second now. Fuck, Sean, you did it! Let's get out of here, man. Drive! Fuck this shit, we did it. But it was so close. Let's do this. I don't like this shit at all. Yeah. I just want to get this over with. If we make it. Don't say that. Things can't go wrong after the night we've had. This is basic karma. Shit. Right. I want this to continue, Cass. We should go. They might not even be inside yet. Finn is out of control. Has he done this before? Fuck us over? Not like this. Why now? Because Finn thinks Daniel is his golden ticket. He just gets greedy and stupid. We gotta catch him. together. Promise. How? What's Meryl gonna do if he catches them? Finn's a smart old shitter. He'll find a way out of this. I know. Ah, shit! You scared the shit out of me. Good! Settle this, man. Shh! You're gonna wake Meryl! Then, no fucking way. Come on, Sean. Are you kidding me? How could you do that, Finn? And you're so fucking kid. He's nine years old. He asked me for it. I didn't force him, man. Are you an idiot? He's too young to make that kind of decision. Fuck's sake, Finn. He's an old soul. He knows what's up. Hold on, please. You're standing near a boatload of cash. We can do this in five minutes, in and out. And then you're off to Mexico. You won't hear about me ever again. We got this, man. Trust me. No means no, Finn. Meryl is right fucking there. Uh, he's a log. Won't even know. I, I want to help, Sean. We could get out of here. Go to Mexico. He said no fucking way, Sean. Please. We're done, Finn. Come on, Daniel. No, why should I? We couldn't even find you before. You were with her, right? Who gives a shit? Let's go. Now. No, I'm sick of all this. For weeks. You just hang out with her. It's all your fault. I could do what I want. Crazy. The fuck are you doing here? Shit. Don't move. Don't shoot. What the fuck? How many are you? Just us. It's just us. All right. 
Move your essence over there. Now! Uh, Meryl! Uh, <laughs> boss! <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop! I don't want to hear any more of your shit! So, what was your big fucking plan, exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. God damn it, Vin, I told you- Shut up! This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your head. Shit, don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We... We could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now! Wait. Let me explain. Oh, yeah? Explain this. Uh. Uh. Don't insult me by acting like you've got a reason to steal. Don't! <clears throat> For the last time, get on your fucking knees! Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. Just get on your damn knees! Yeah, now! He can't do this. Don't <clears throat> fucking move! It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore.